my story, I guess I'll start with. It was about five and a half years ago. I found a, we call it a lump, but it felt more like a brick. It was pretty large in my breast. And uh, when I finally went and checked it out, I kind of waited a little bit thinking it was nothing. And um, when I got diagnosed, it was stage three breast cancer. And the day I came home and told the family, my sister Cherie, who's here as well, she said, well, I have a little lump. And I said, well, just go check it out. What are the odds that we both have it? And sure enough, the odds were great because she was diagnosed two weeks to the day after I was with stage one. So we were able to go through our treatments together and had to do the whole gamut. And um, I had to do radiation on top of the other stuff, but we did our chemo and had surgeries and stuff, stuff like that. And one thing that's a little different is Cherie's very outgoing and very wants to share her story and I thought she one of the things that she wanted to do was to show videos of like to take videos of what was going on so that people would understand and not be afraid and I was like I'm the type that I could just go through it and no one needed to know and it'd be fine but um, her doing that made me really come out of my shell to realize that there are people that don't know what this is like, and there are people that are very, very afraid, and the word cancer is just extremely frightening to them. And so I realized what a blessing it was that she was doing these videos and explaining what was going on because not everyone is like our family. My mom is a two-time cancer survivor, so, and we've just had it all in our family, so it's just, you just kinda knew it was coming just when, you know? So, um, but I was glad that we had that opportunity to kind of share the story through her videos and things like that. But um, about three years ago, around this time, I got a nagging cough that would not go away. And everyone had every remedy in the world for it, that nothing worked. And after a couple months where you're coughing and not sleeping, and I it finally would cough so hard that I would throw up, I finally called the doctor and He's like, well, let's do a chest x-ray and we'll see what's going on or a CT scan. And, and that's where they found that my cancer had come back and it was stage four and it had metastasized to my bones, some of my lymph nodes in this area, and then the pleural fluid that surrounds my lungs, which was what was causing that cough. It was filling up that whole space and I couldn't breathe very well. So that was another surprise. You don't want to hear it came back, but it was just kind of my MO was just kind of go with the flow and okay, now what? <laughs> See what we do. Um, and a lot of my treatments over the past almost three years have been pills, which were um, I felt really good on. Was able to still do everything that I wanted to do. Um, over the past couple months, I've had to do some harder treatments, hence the hair loss again. But over the whole course of this whole thing, um, I've just realized how many people, their people are just so kind. And that's the thing, it's like people that you don't even know will wish you well, they'll be praying for you, um, sending you gifts, um, notes, cards, things like that. And I just think, who does this? Like, who, who are these people? And Because um, I realize that everybody has their own battle to fight. And it's not like my battle's any harder than someone else's, but for people to take that time, mine's maybe more visible, especially with a bald head, people notice it, but um, it doesn't mean my battle's any harder than what someone else is facing. And every little word of encouragement, um, for those of you that are here tonight, you may think like that you're not making that big of a difference or it's not that big of a deal. I can't imagine um, being in a situation where I couldn't pay my bills or had other things weighing on my head. So this organization, like helping people with those types of things, um, really to li relieve such a burden when you have so much you're already focused on. But um, I've just been so grateful for, uh, I've got a great family, great support system, and for all the times that I've felt overwhelmed with pain, where I think I can't take it anymore, um, 10 times that I've been overwhelmed with gratitude for people um, 
going out of their way to help me to provide service in ways that I didn't even think I needed. And so um, I just appreciate all that you guys do and people like um, this Needs Beyond Medicine that they do to help people who are struggling and could use a little boost because every little bit helps. But I appreciate that and appreciate listening to my story. Thanks.